Well, you know, this looks hauntingly familiar. Oh, it I does. see. It's the it's the game Clear Kekiugaj. <laughs> I love I love hearing people try and puzzle out uh, glyphs they don't understand. Klekekiugj. <laughs> trying, yeah. I mean, I can kind of see how that would how you would see that. Um, that's an upside down G. That doesn't make that sound. <laughs> Sorry. No. What uh, what this is is Doremi Fantasy. Doremi Fantasy. Miron no Doki Doki Dai Boken by Hudson Softs. Um, nice, nice. Yes, one of the Mylan series games. We played this previously on Wednesday, Day, but this is the beginning of another series. We're yes. going to play this one till its bitter end. Till the very bitter end. Actually, I don't know. There's a whole lot of sweet in this game. I don't know if there's a whole lot of bitter that we're going to have to deal with. This will be a nice palate cleanser, however, after Artie Lightfoot where it was like they wanted it to feel like it was right a, uh, yeah like it was is had some sort of sweet or or sort of happy undertones but there was no happiness in the game at all no but, this uh, was one of our this was one of our favorites for sure all right yeah so uh big props to JC Siron JC Siron I'm not sure how to pronounce that correctly but uh you uh you asked and we will deliver so all right let's, let's do started. it yeah, you're gonna have How's to read this it? shit. Yeah, that's I, fine. Yeah. I know it's un, it's unfortunate. I think there was an English release of this actually, but uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to try fine. and fast translate, uh, which I am not trained to do. So it's just going to seem like I'm bad at this. So whatever. Oh yeah, get them go. They're so fucking ah! enthusiastic. They have no <laughs> idea what's uh, what's coming. Oh. Yeah, that monkey that, looks super that guilty. Dead-eyed monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pay attention to anything <laughs> I'm doing. It's the fairy. Oh, 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 oh no! Ah. There you go. Just anime it up, man. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh no! It's the demon from Bald Top Mountain. Come to steal Tinkerbell. No, the poor it's, beaver it's bear. It's off-brand Di- beaver bear. <laughs> there was a beaver off-brand bear. Off-brand Disney fight. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man. You you got your... Otoo-san, taihen da yo. Dou ka shita no ka? エリス様がアモンに騒われたよ。何マジンアモンがよみがえったのか。エリス様を助けなければこの世界はどうなることか。お父さん、僕がエリス様を助けに行くよ。うん。アモンを倒し、エリス様を救うのだ。僕がこの
uh, and uh, and Poron, your mother. Um, so you have to go and find the musician uh, and ask what they uh, what they think. He's like, yeah, all right, leave it to me. I'm on my way. See so you wait, for dinner. What's with the why? Why the musician? Who the fuck is the musician? Why do we care? Why is the musician so special? So, uh, Milan's Doki Doki by Dai Boking is so the I guess the way that they um, originally um, sealed Amon up was oh, like was using some uh, some yeah like enchanted instruments. And so we have to recollect the enchanted instruments or something like that. Okay. Um, it, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't mentioned in the intro there, but I think it's supposed to be something you know about from, like, reading the manual, so... Isn't it... Is it unclear how Amon escaped from, uh... Whoa, nice! God, this game! I know, it's, it's really fucking well done. It's, it is a travesty that this did not make it over to the West. It is! Or, uh, or even if it did make it over to the West, that it was not more well known. Because I would have played the shit out of this. Like the animation is fantastic, um, the plot is kind of fun. It's pretty as all shit. It's like, yeah, why are we not is. doing more of this? I'm a, I'm a big fan. I like yeah. this one. And, and really of all the, the West Disney we games it. we've played, this one was definitely one of our favorites. Well, it was one of the rare uh, West Disney West Nesta games that we played. Where we, <laughs> uh, where we did a, a, a double episode. Yeah, like we. On, that, that's on a our very, own. Oh, right, you auto bounce off of these. I almost forgot. I got to remember oh. all of the. Uh, yeah, no, no worries, no worries. You got, that's that's kind of why I thought it was best for us to restart to start the from the beginning. Yeah. So yeah. what I do remember, and one thing that we struggled with in our first playthrough. Is that yeah? I can go fucking crazy and yeah. do that. Uh, do that like um, attack in all directions thing, which we needed because we totally got stuck. Uh, yeah, in, in, I remember in that. Levels. After that bomber man, because there are a bunch of cameos in this. Yeah. Oh man, a, I see a robot on the edge of the map there. Yeah, man, there's a robot that we have to fight. Here we go! Here we go! Leaf? Leaf? Um, yeah. Oh, that one, it looks a little broken. So, yep, there. There you go. Yep. Do they all fall, or are they... Or just the the, the broken ones? Uh, so these ones... Uh, these ones restore after they fall. But I think the broken ones just stayed... Yeah, just kept falling. Right. Service. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so, like, controls, super solid. Yeah! Um, like, there is very little to complain about in this game. Like, it was it, it was rare to find a game this pretty with solid controls. <laughs> exactly! Like, right? Like, uh, like, that was one of Artie's main failings, was just the, the game was hard to play well. Yeah. Oh, nice. Right. An extra suit. Which I think is good for one additional hit. Oh, really? So it's like a it's like yeah. armor. Yeah, it's it's like it's like Mario's hat. I, I it's been so long since or, I played this, but I do remember having a fondness for it. Or I guess Mario's size? Mario didn't really have a special hat. No. No, he uh he he got, he was his mushroom. Yeah. Which is Mario's Toad's hat. Room. Yes. Yes. Or is it Toad's head? I mean, most likely head. So if you take it I... off, he'll just die. Well, he'll die, but Mario will get larger. Right. So, yeah. It's, you know. So it's a it's a noble sacrifice. It's a it's a net win <laughs> for Mario. It's for a Mario. net win. <laughs> ah, all right. All right. I mean, you know. Mario's happy. What is that? Is that an extra man's? I feel like that's probably an extra man's or something valuable like that, but I don't mm. know how to get there. And I feel like... Are those ladders instead of They are. Yeah. Instead of wasting too much of my energy trying to locate the extra man's, 
Uh, he says while well, doing exactly that. Um, I should probably just move forward. Yeah, not, sure. Um, but the secrets are cool. Life. Oh yeah, secrets are. Oh man, secrets are the coolest. Oh. Secrets are great, man. My favorite. Some of my favorite secrets are Nintendo secrets. <laughs> and and also. Also, conspiracy theories. Those are also my favorite secrets. Ooh, Nintendo conspiracy theories. Oh my goodness! I don't. Uh, it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's nothing quite as nice as a nice. Yeah. So that's one. That's where we struggled the first time we played this game. We could not yeah, out how to get through there. We wasted a lot of time trying to get to this one. So you're already ahead of the game by watching I'm this again. I'm already ahead of the game. If yeah. I'm, I, I doubt that we're going to get as far as we did in two episodes, and that just this first pilot episode of the Remy no, no series two. We're almost but, there anyway. Uh, we're almost done, yeah. but that's fine. I don't want to. Oh. I don't want to ruin it for. Oh fuck! I got the. I, that was your first hit. Oh, now your second yeah, hit. I had two men's. And now I'm Jesus. Down to... These guys are coming at you from an angle that you find confounding. Yeah, I need to be I need to be more vigilant. Oh boy. Whoa, easy there. Oh, look at that animation. Ugh. Sheesh. Yeah, it's Ugh. like even even Mario did not like go this all out with like the quality no. of the animation and shit. Like, oh man! Massive props to Hudson Soft for going all out on this game. Which, which, to be honest, like Hudson, I didn't ever think of as a company that went crazy with their visuals. But true, know. I mean, well, to, but to be fair, like I mean, um, Adventure Island and stuff like that was always a relatively pretty series of games. It's just like, it, it, yeah, yeah, I found. Mm. Uh -oh. Here is Tulsa, the uh, the musician, presumably. All right, uh, what's he saying? Yeah, Mironkan, konnichiwa, nanika yokai. Hello, Mylan, what's up, basically? Tulsa. Oh, that much. Uh, and Milan told Tulsa what happened. I see, that's what happened. I understand. In order to save Eris, you, I will, uh, I will teach you what I know. I'm on... Uh, to, to defeat Amon, you must get the five magical instruments. Uh, or in legendary instruments. Uh, but to get the legendary instruments, or the instrument, legendary instruments were stolen by Amon. Uh, and were uh, sealed by Amon's curse. Boo. Their, their magical powers were stolen. Uh, if you find the legendary instruments, um, get the, uh, oh, right, I had so much trouble with this word last time. It was the star umpe. Um, so uh, an umpe in Japanese is the word for a magical note. Or for oh, a note, okay. particularly. Right. So the star note. Get five star notes. Uh... And uh, yeah, if you have the five star notes and the and the instruments, then uh, my friends can remove the uh, seals that are on the, on the instruments. All right. Uh, use the magical items and defeat ammo. So he's like, "Yeah, I'll save Eris." Late. Sweet. Let's do it. Ba da ba ba da ba 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 ba. <laughs> and Matt goes Danger Bay. Well, it is. It's a danger. Oh shit! Oh, I so what was I? What I was gonna say is Adventure Island. I never found while it, it was pretty ish. I never found it to be. Um, uh, like, the, it, the, like the, the, really, the, it was never particularly ground. So. No, and I and I didn't find the style to be super cohesive. Now, granted, it was in you know, the, the generation before this. Uh, and this is, like, obviously perfected. Um, yeah. And I definitely see the style at work here, but... This we should is, this totally a... play Super Adventure Island. Yeah, I agree. Just as a, as a point of reference after we finish this, if we can remember that we had this conversation, 
after we finish uh, Milan, then yeah. we should totally check let's, that let, out. Let's let's do it because I, I I find the uh, the the style here is is cohesive all the way through. Like everything makes True. sense. Whereas, yeah, everything like, works together and is not like I mean it's whimsical, but it's uh, it's not like uh, like absurdly so. If that yeah. makes sense. Oh shit. Yeah, and it, yeah, absolutely. Oh man. That and guy yeah, is everything just... is themed. Yeah. That's yeah, that's what it, I'm saying. Like everything is it's, themed it's, and it it works really yeah, it's well the like the level of effort that went into like a Mario game. Adventure it Island rare to see. I it was always like it always seemed just wildly all over the place. As the well, it was kinda... a little bit all over the place, but it was also like um yeah, it was this weird mix of uh, like island themes and like uh, Indiana Jonesy adventure type shit. So yeah, and well, I think it's like what was his name, Master Hudson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, his character design alone was very confusing. True. Well, yeah, it's it's kind of sort of based on a real person though. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But he looks um, like a caveman with a hat. Yes, in real <laughs> life he looks like a skinny bald uh, Japanese dude who's really good at um um what is the uh, rapid tapping. That was his claim to fame. So he's one of the <laughs> fastest. Seriously, he's one of the he, he was like a world record holder for fast for most number of finger taps in a in a minute. Wow. Or something like that. Like I would no no joke when I was living in Japan, uh, I found a video on WinMX of all places um of uh Master Higgins, which was his Master his moniker. Higgins. Right. Yes. Um Doing uh, a tap on uh, on top of a, a watermelon, and it just fucking explodes after he do- after he does it. He, like taps it for a couple of seconds, and then like the last tap, it just goes boom. It's crazy. Well, I was gonna say I don't know if it's worthy of getting a video game, but maybe if he made a watermelon explode. With well, he, w- he he also happened to be like creative director at Hudson, so. <laughs> So here's it's... here's my thought. A video game, main character, now hear me out, it's me. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Should he tap? No. Oh, okay. You He's got will, a skateboard. 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 Skateboard around. Do you skateboard, oh, okay. sir? No, no, but he's me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Okay, I'm a little lost. I forget where to get the key. I don't know where you get the key here, but I guess we're... <laughs> that's, that's a that's a that's we're gonna have to wait on that yeah, one. Yeah, that's think. something we're gonna have to find next time. So thank you very much for joining us, everybody. We will catch you again next time on Dory Me Fantasy. Until then, however, have a great week, uh, and we will uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Man. Yeah. Oh man, his little idle animations are awesome. I know, right? Oh. <laughs>